Why does the broken keep us panting? Welcome to my channel. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly, that's all we need, imperfectly sustainable. So today guys, we are going to look at why we keep on panting is it we am i panting no i'm not panting actually no i'm not a panter i don't do panting oh yes i do panting yeah but only under certain circumstances is that panting no not panting Whew, yes that's panting right well okay if that's panting I do pant but yes we have been panting or a lot of us have been panting not me I have already given you five or ten reasons why I would never buy a Hermes quarter bag you could check it out but today we are going to look specifically at why Hermes Birkin or Kelly, but why does the Birkin keep us panting? One, well, it's because of you. Yes, you, 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 all of you. Because you think it's the pinnacle bag. Seriously. No, sir. I don't even have to go into that. All I could say to that point is that it's not everybody's pinnacle bag. It's, it's certainly not mine. Number two. Thomas treats you like crap. Yes. I said it. The essays... They treat you like crap to get a bag. So hence, we keep on panting because you know what? We have developed a syndrome where, you know, in a situation of domestic abuse, when the abuser is scared to leave because they fear the abuser, so they don't know how to leave. So some of you keep on panting because, believe it or not, you like to be treated like crap. Yes, it's the elitist syndrome, the exclusivity syndrome, the luxury syndrome, whatever you name it as, you have a syndrome and it's not good because it means that if you're in a situation where you like to be treated like crap, by that I mean you enjoy being rejected over and over again for a bag. It's a bag. It's a bag that's made like any other bag that you have on your shelf. Yes, some might say, oh, wow. No, it's not. It's a different bag. It's only made um, a certain number of times per year. It's made by one individual craftsman. So it has great craftsmanship. It has great history. Seriously, that's why you put up with crap? Yeah. You have exclusivity syndrome. Or elitism syndrome. Or luxury syndrome or you have status syndrome it could cost you not only money but other issues 
Why would you want to be treated badly for a bag? Why? Sometimes they even bring in you stuff that you don't need. They serve you a little piece of Hermes and you feel so included. You feel honored. Oh my God. It's a bag. Do not have a bag on such pedestal. It's, it's not that deep. Seriously. And as I've said before, as much as I admire craftsmanship, excellent quality. Yeah, but cool. The third reason why the Birkin keeps us panting is because it's a quarter bag. Yes, you know when there's scarcity on a market, it causes the price to rise. That's economics 101. And I wasn't even good at economics. <laughs> but that one I know for sure. When there's a quota, it prevents the oversaturation of the market. Yeah. For that reason, because it's limited in quantity per year, it means that many people are out there like running and like crazy to be the first one to be offered their dream bag, their quota bag. So because of the fact that there's a quarter, you know what it does? It also drives up prices. Is Homer's bag expensive or not? Do you know why? Is it just because of the craftsmanship? As we mentioned in point two, is it just because that one person is making your bag and it's, it's very special for that reason? And, of course, the quality of the leather. Is it because of that? There are multiple reasons. And you and I both know that the Hermes price is also because of its history. If you love to buy history, go right ahead. The fourth reason why many of us are panting over the Birkin is because it's supposed to be an investment bag. There are some truths to that. It may not even be worth it. Yes, I've said it. We are panting over the Birkin because it's an investment bag. So we could buy it now and resell it at a really high markup five years from now. Or it's a, it's a heirloom piece. So intergenerational piece. I could see that happening, providing that your heirs like that style. Because every generation, they have a style. They have their own thing. But as an investment piece, I wonder how much it's going to be worth if 10 years later, if it has been sitting on your shelf or in a case, not being used, not being given proper ventilation, not being taken for a walk, so that it could get natural oxygen air, just sitting there looking pretty. Do you remember Beetle Leather Work, Blue Birkin? All I'm saying, it's a bag. And like any bag, it's prone to disintegration. An Hermes bag is not immune to the elements. It's not immune to being destroyed. And 
it's not perfect. As you have been learning, people have been finding issues with not only the Kelly, but nobody is saying it. People are not coming out to say it because they want Hermes to remain that pinnacle bag, that one that you dream about, that you suffer abuse, <laughs> verbal and micro, allegedly before you could even get the one that you really, really want. So we are panting over the Birkin for those reasons. And I'm not done. The fifth one is that there's this narrative that Hermes or Hermes is the only bag out there that produces great quality items. I have news for you. It's not. There are great quality bags out there that are not necessarily Hermes. In fact, this bag apparently was made by a former Hermes artisan. Oh my God, yes! And the artisans that, that work at Hermes are not just exclusive to Hermes. You think that they just depend on Hermes alone to survive? You think that Hermes paid them exceptionally well? That the high markups really trickled down? To those craftsmen and women that take their time and make your bags yeah you think they're paid well for such great craftsmanship do you consider the price of a Hermes bag versus what is possibly being paid to the craftsmen do you think they're being fairly paid Yeah, Hermes is not the only brand that has great craftsmanship, great artisans, and produce their items with great leathers. In fact, my curiosity about the Hermes bag had me looking for one of similar quality if not on par, because based on the information that I have gotten, this bag by Mauro Govana, this Birkin bag was allegedly made by a Hermes artisan. And this bag is of the same quality leather that Hermes uses for its Birkin bags this is togo leather and it's absolutely amazing so yes if this is the type of leather that the hermes bags are made from they're absolutely amazing i love this bag it's beautiful and the color ah, ah. so this bag is one of the other reasons why i would never buy a Hermes bag or undergo the treatment, I would not be one of those that is panting over a Hermes bag because I have one that works just as beautiful, that is well crafted, that I absolutely love and at a great price. So, yeah. I would not be one of those that's panting over a Birkin. So guys, these are the things that I hope that you could keep in mind so that you could stop panting or continue if you like. It's your breath. But personally, I like to pant for a good reason 
and I know my reason why and when and where I pant and I love that reason it's definitely not a Birkin so guys I hope that you have learned something I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I love you and I'll see you next Sunday take care of yourselves bye